Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, teacher. Everything okay? Good. I'm glad to hear that. How are, are the rest of you? Doing pretty good? Yeah? Good teacher. Good All evening. Right. Good evening, Janet. Good to see you. Okay. How are you, Luis? Maybe. Oh. Oh, how are you, teacher? Good. How are you? I'm uh, fine. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Yvonne. How are you? Yvonne, are you there? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, welcome, Manuel Alejandro. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Very good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Um, and welcome, Marvin. How are you? Very good, teacher. Yeah, everything's pretty good. Everything is... Um, Everything was fine this weekend with the yes. work? Yeah. Yes, yes. easy okay. work. Easy work, good, good. Yeah, because you told me that you had to work on the holidays, so I'm glad that it was easy. Yes. Yeah, good, good. Okay, welcome, Haiti. how are you? Fine, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How was your weekend? It was a nice weekend. Oh, I could, I could, I could rest. Thanks, God. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And um, Carla, hi. Are you there? Yes, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Welcome, Melissa. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. So I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Thank you. And um, uh, when, hello, welcome, Wendy. Oh, we can't hear you, Wendy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I uh, <laughs> I speak, speak, speak. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no worries, no worries. I guess you're still setting up. No worries. Okay, just finish up setting up uh, your your place so that you're comfortable. Okay. No worries. Okay. Hello, Ana Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, everybody. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. <laughs> good, good. Your your hair looks different. Ah, uh, because I haven't made my. <laughs> your, <laughs> your, your ponytail. Ah, uh, I haven't made made or do. Yes, I haven't made my pony yeah. ke? hair. <laughs> ponytail. Pony. Uh, ponytail. Uh huh. Made it. <laughs> Okay, yes, because it's all down and yeah, it looks different. Yes, yes. Always I do my pony tail, tail? Tail, pony tail. Ah, okay. I learned something new. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So like in, literally like in Spanish. Uh -huh. like, cola de caballo. Cola de caballo. <laughs> Qué divertido. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, pony tail. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good. Well, welcome guys. So tell me. What did you do on the weekend? How was your your day off? I, I guess the majority of you had a day off. So how what did you do on the weekend? What was special? Or you didn't do anything interesting? Sleep. Sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> By the way, what at what time did you wake up, teacher? Oh, let me see what time did I wake up. I think it was nine. I woke ah, up. Ah, okay. 
Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I woke up at nine. But yeah, no. You know, I I um the thing is, um something woke me up though. I don't remember what it was. I, I don't know if it was like a like a message that woke me up. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. You forget to okay. mute yourself. Yeah, exactly. No, it's okay, no problem. Uh, nine, nine, nine was okay. Now it's okay. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, so I guess no one did anything interesting, exciting. No? Okay. All right. Um, class, uh, before I forget, well, be oh, let's, let's, um, let's first do the attendance, okay? And then I'll, I'll tell you guys what I wanted to tell you. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher, I'm sorry. Great. Okay. Andre, Andres? Present teacher. Wonderful. Edgar. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful. And Janet? Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola. Fabiola. No, I can't see Fabiola. Uh, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. I can't see him either. Okay. Heidi? Heidi? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Uh, Irene, 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 no Irene. Okay, all right. Uh, Josue, Alberto. Present the chair. All right, welcome. Juan Francisco. Present the chair. All right, very good. Carla? Carla? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, and Carla, uh, any any problems with the with the camera? Carla, are you having any problems with the camera? Hmm. Or maybe with the internet. Okay. Um, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. All right. And Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No. Okay. Teacher, uh, you didn't say my name. You skipped my name. Sorry. Melissa. <laughs> Present. All right. Thank you, Melissa. Um, for but for some reason I put I put that you were here. I guess I just saw you and I, I thought honestly, I said, like I, always. Uh -huh, I, <laughs> I I I think I I thought I said it because I just I just put I put I put your attendance that you were there. So I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Marvin, present teacher. All right, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay. Warner. Warner. No, I can't see Warner. Uh, Noemi. Noemi. Noemi is not here. Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, good. Be careful, Yvonne. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. No la vaya a atacar la abeja. <laughs> okay. Um, Daniel? Daniel, Daniel, not here? No, no, Daniel. Okay. Jorge. Jorge Alberto. Okay. Marlene? Okay. Ricardo. Ricardo? Okay. All right, guys, thank you very much. Um, so, Good evening, teacher, present. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. You're here then. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So, um, what I wanted to tell you guys uh, before anything, I, before I forget, was that um, 
remember that this is this coming week is going to be our last week so it's super important that you guys are present in class so that we have a minimum of 80 percent of attendance okay and so please do not um don't do not be absent um if possible eh, y um si alguien quiere que yo les mande o que yo les diga cuánto de uh, las, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? el porcentaje de asistencia que llevan, pues con gusto yo les indico para que ustedes tengan una idea, ¿verdad? Eh, y también acuérdense de que, ah, bueno, le voy a decir eso en español para que no haya ninguna confusión. Acuérdense que también esto es la última semana para mandar los documentos. Entonces, eh, yo sé que pues en su, en su compañía o sea, son los que están ahí, uh, digamos, eh, los responsables ahí en recursos humanos, de matar y todo, pero uh, pues no, no caería mal recordarles, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes saben que a veces de repente ellos están con otras cosas, ¿verdad? Y, y se les olvida, ¿verdad? Entonces, es importante que ustedes ahí le están como cojando un poquito, ¿verdad? Y recordarle, pero si acaso no lo han hecho todavía y asegurarse de que sí lo hayan mandado, porque a veces algunas compañías dicen, sí, 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 lo vamos a mandar pasado mañana. Y pues a ellos se les olvida, bueno, well, dicen, se lo voy a mandar y se les olvida. Entonces, acuérdense de que hay que mandarlo. ¿Verdad? Hay que mandar eh, todos los documentos uh, antes del tiempo porque si no, o sea, eh, si no se van a quedar su, sin su, su puesto, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces es importante que ustedes um, todos puedan meter sus papeles. Eh, no sé si tienen ustedes alguna pregunta acerca de los documentos. Yo en cuanto a documentos no tengo pregunta. Mi pregunta es en cuanto a la plataforma. Tenía entendido que como comenzamos un día martes, nuestros accesos iban a estar disponibles hasta el día 11, pero la plataforma dice que hasta el día 10. Entonces, no sé, porque me imagino que la última clase la tenemos el día martes 11, o no sé si hasta este viernes llegamos. No. Um, ¿A dónde dice la plataforma? En la plataforma, al ingresar, eh, ahí dice este curso, este se ha archivado hasta el día 10 de mayo. Y que el próximo está para comenzar el día 17, cuando uno ingresa a la plataforma, en la página principal, antes de seguir el curso. Entonces, eh, ajá, por si el acceso, pues, porque entiendo que la última clase la tenemos el jueves, el, 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 ay, perdón, el martes 11, y creo que es ahí donde llenamos la encuesta, ¿verdad? Que nos van a enviar. Sí, tiene razón. Y que se mande el screenshot. Sí, yo creo que hubo una, una pequeña confusión ahí, pero no, o sea, ustedes tienen hasta el, hasta el día 11 para poder ah, okay. Good evening. Así que, good evening. Okay. Así que pero, sí, um, acuérdense que eh, nosotros uh, vamos a terminar el próximo martes por la razón de que empezamos un martes y en teoría tendríamos que terminar el lunes, pero como este lunes es el día de asueto, entonces sí. no estamos en la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por eso es que vamos a terminar el 11, ¿ok? Ok. Ahora, otra cosa bien importante que ustedes tienen que recordarse de que, aunque sí es cierto que necesitan, pueden meter los documentos y que los documentos les um, reserva el cupo para el próximo módulo, pero eso no les garantiza que van a pasar al menos que ustedes completen la plataforma y tengan por lo menos un 80 por ciento. ¿Verdad? Entonces eso es sumamente importante. O sea, tiene que cumplir con todos los requisitos ¿verdad? para poder ingresar al próximo nivel. De lo contrario, estaríamos ahí esperando, ¿verdad? Cupo, si no se meten los documentos a tiempo, o si acaso no llegáramos al 80%, pues lastimosamente no se puede contener con el programa. Entonces, eh, eso es muy, muy importante que ustedes tengan eso, eh, ¿verdad? 
claro y por lo tanto también que tengan al día su plataforma porque de repente me dicen mire fíjese que um, sí yo lo voy a hacer eh, sí me ha trazado un poco pero pero ya lo voy a hacer lo, lo voy a hacer todo la última semana híjole pero se hacen toda la última semana imagínense cómo va a ser eso ¿verdad? entonces es muy importante que ustedes um, hagan lo día tras día hagan la tarea como tiene que ser y entonces así pueden, porque acuérdense que no solamente es de tener a los cuatro unidades, sino que también midterm y final exam. Son seis cosas prácticamente y más que nada los midterms y final exam son lo que cuenta más, o sea que tengan, tienen más ponderación. Entonces es importantísimo que ustedes completen todo. Ok. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿O cualquier cosa que hemos hablado hasta el momento, ya sea de los documentos, la plataforma, la asistencia. ¿Alguna cosita que quieran preguntar? ¿Alguna inquietud? Sí, usted decía de que para saber el porcentaje de asistencia que teníamos, ¿cómo podemos hacer para, para, para chequear? Mándenme un mensajito, yo se lo mando a usted. Privadamente su asistencia. Ah, bueno, gracias. Sí, solo póngame, soy Wendy, quiero saber eh, mi porcentaje hasta el momento. Le puedo dar hasta el momento, ¿verdad? O sea, cuánto porcentaje lleva hasta el momento. Acuérdense que es un porcentaje acumulado, ¿verdad? Eh, para que ustedes más o menos entiendan, cada clase vale un 5%, porque son 20 clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, cada clase es un 20% de la, de la nota, del, del porcentaje final. Entonces, si usted está en clase 120 minutos de cada día, entonces ya eso es un 5% más que le va agregando. Pero si usted solo estuvo, digamos, 60 minutos de la clase, entonces solo puede agregarle 2.5%. Entonces, todo es relativo. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Bueno, entonces en este caso vamos a empezar con nuestra clase de hoy. Um, vamos a empezar solo. Díganme por favor cuando ustedes ya puedan ver mi PowerPoint. Sí, lo vemos. Okay. Okay, guys. So today we're looking at beginner module five, unit three, troubleshooting. Okay. So this is the end of our unit three. Okay. So let's take a look. This is beginner module five, unit three, troubleshooting. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Imagine it's already May 3rd in the evening. Okay. Um, and the date today is uh, day number 15. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's take a look here at, uh, this is a review for role play. We saw some vocabulary last class about phrasal verbs. Do you guys remember phrasal verbs? Yeah? Um, can you guys remind me some phrasal verbs that we learned? Clean up, follow up. Clean up. What else? Follow up. Follow up. Okay. Seize up. Follow up. Uh -huh. Yeah, seize up. Okay. Good. What else? Clean up. Clean up. Okay. Anything else? Switch off. Switch off. Yes. Switch off. Switch up. Tighten up. Sorry? Tighten up. Tighten up. up. Tighten up. Yes. Very good. Very good. Um, anything else? Call off. Call call off. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, okay. Good. So what we're going to do um, is the following. So we are going to 
work in pairs. So I'm going to put you to work with a partner. Student A, you are a supervisor. Okay. Student B, you are maintenance personnel. Okay. So one's a supervisor, the other one's the maintenance personnel. You both have to check that a machine has received the necessary maintenance. Ask and answer questions using phrasal verbs. Okay, so uh, make sure you use phrasal verbs like, you know, um, clean up, um, tighten up, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Present the conversation in front of the class. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Any questions so far? Not teacher. Okay. All right. So let's stop sharing and let's get you guys into breakout rooms. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, Warner, are you on two devices or only one? I think only one. Oh, no, two. No, one. Only uh, one, right? Only one. Ya me voy a conectar con la otra punta. Oh. Okay. Um, but I'm going to give you about 20 minutes. Okay. So, um, okay. And remember, try to use as many phrasal verbs as possible. Okay. So, here we go. I'm opening up the groups. I know I mean, are you having any problems? Not teacher, ahorita, que me... Okay. Ahorita, It's a zero no conversation. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. to make a conversation. Uh, one student is going to be a supervisor. The other one is going to be the maintenance personnel. And we have to check if the machine has received the maintenance, uh, something like that. It's okay, teacher? That's correct. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. And then, so I know we have to make a conversation. I see we have a, a example in the page number 35 of the manual. We can take it, yes, we can take it for a, for a guide. Page. Do you find it? Page 35. Okay. Um I uh, I we are used. <clears throat> okay. Um. Con esa base la vamos a hacer. It's como la guía. It's like a guide. We have to, to decide who uh, is going to be the supervisor and who is going to be the maintenance personnel. If you want, I'm going to be the maintenance. Manuel, uh, Manuel, uh, 
I am a problem with the computers. Computers. I don't know. Uh -huh, with my computer. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Hello, good morning, Manuel. I am I am a problem with my computer. Uh -huh. What happened? Wendy, can you hear me? Sorry, can you repeat that? Yes, you, teacher. What, what did you say? What did you say you had a you about the problem? Can you repeat? Uh, I am a problem. Okay, I am. I have a problem. I have. I have. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. Yes. I forget. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. With my my computer, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Oh really? Uh, what happened with with this? Con ella. ¿Qué pasa con ella? What happened? Really? Did oh, oh really? Uh, what happened? Uh -huh. okay. Y yo te vez puedo decir, I don't know. Eh, my computer eh, took a nap because of the monthly maintenance. Maintenance. Any questions, guys? Huh? No teacher. No? I'm not a teacher. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I do have a question, Miss. Uh, we're trying to say that um, because the supervisor asked the maintenance personnel to turn on the printer, right? And then the person that says, I've just finished to clean it up. I just finished cleaning it up. Cleaning it up? Cleaning it is up. It, is that right? To say? Cleaning. Cleaning is it, it right up. right to say? Mm -hmm. no, I'm, I just finished cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Yes. Cleaning, cleaning it, it up. It up. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But that is not a phrase of verb, is it? Um, Clean it, cleaning it up. <laughs> cleaning it up. Cleaning it up, yes. It's a phrase of verb, clean up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I see then. Then you say. Okay. Eh, esa, esa eras tú ahora. Entonces, pues, uh, did you, is, is it correct me to say, did you see that to change the toner? Sorry? Uh, because I understand the meaning of CSAP is like aprovechar. Aprovechar. Uh -huh. No. No. Um, okay. No approach. No. Um, since up is a to is como trancarse o o ah, okay. Casa, algo así. Since up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go and help another group. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. okay. Hi. We have a Hi, miss. Okay. In this case, we have to use 
words like tighten up, clean up, switch up. Yeah. Yeah. Sit yeah up. Correct. Uh, okay. It's all the vocabulary that we saw on Friday. Okay. Right. So, um, uh, when we are um, asking about how do you feel, I can um, respond with I'm in tip top shape. In tip top shape. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in top top? Like that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine and thick of shape. I'm in to top shape, yes. Mm -hmm. You can say that. Okay. 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 Oscar, how do you spell schedule? Anything else I can help you with? Just that, teacher. Is that okay? No. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay. Yeah. What can I do by the moment? Uh huh. Ahí está, ahí está, ¿no? Sí, sí. Así que yo te digo solo, just turn off the, the printer. Okay. Just turn off. Any questions, guys? Okay. Uh, no, but a moment, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. Turn off the printer. Okay. Let's turn off the printer. Okay. Um, and okay. you can you can tell me uh yeah, but because the printer is sys up <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Remember. Uh, if, if you're talking about the present, you would have to say, has seized up. Se ha atascado, right? Um, or if you're talking about the past, um, seized up. So you gotta, yes. you gotta make sure the verb is in the correct form. Okay. Size it up. Size it up. Seize, non size. Seize. Yes. S E I Z. Uh -huh. Okay, I E I E E I to verify that. That was um, working perfectly. To verify to work perfectly. Yeah. Did you call up the machine operator to verify that was working perfectly? Okay. To work perfectly. And then uh, you will answer. Sure. That, yes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> sure. Uh, I call up and. Any questions, guys? Anything you want to ask me? One right now. When we can say we call up with the ED at the end of call. Of call. Called. Uh -huh. Called. Can we use that? Sure, called. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, Marvin, the 
the word will be that called called up. Call. When you answer to me that sure, uh, I called up. I call up. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sure, the operator machine. 36 me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero aquí usted me dijo, uh, thanks, uh, I need to turn off to clear machine. Aquí en la, la parte de la, de la conversación. No, mm -hmm. le decía yo que, que nos ¿Sí? quedáramos con la, con la parte que decía, hello, Edgar, I need your help. Can you check the, the fryer? Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Y luego okay. este, usted me contesta, sure. Let, okay. uh, let me check uh, the clean and some pieces of equipment. Y okay. yo le digo, eh, thanks. Que borramos la primera que era esa, pero ahorita la podríamos meter en la siguiente. Okay. Okay. Sería... What? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Any questions you're gonna, you want to ask me? Um, no. Mm, no, 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 oh, teacher. Falta poco tiempo, así. Uh, no. Lo pueden ver ustedes, ¿cuánto tiempo falta? Cuatro, ah, ah, no, cuatro minutos. Un poquito de tiempo, un poquito okay. de tiempo. Padre, el señor. Ok, ok, okay. teacher. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Entonces, yo diría, yo diría ahí, thanks. Thanks. Pues sí es que en nuestra conversación. Ajá, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Ah, pues podemos poner, como aquí en lo último dice, ahí sí, sure, que, que hay que revisarla con regularidad. Y podemos poner. A ver, If you don't lubricate, no, no, porque aquí está. Ay, no, no sé. Se necesita lubricar. Any questions? Anything you want to ask me? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> ¿Algo que quieran preguntar? Um, I have a question. Yeah, um, question. To turn on uh, is included in, in the frasal verb. No. Turn on. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's one of the ones that we use, that we learned on Friday. It is a phrasal verb, but I don't remember that it's one of the ones that we use. Uh, let me just check. Ya le digo. Uh, we learned, aprendimos, tighten up, clean mm -hmm. up, switch off, mm -hmm. call up, call up. Uh, turn, uh, turn off. Turn off. Uh -huh. Turn on. Turn off. Turn on, no. Uh, uh. Seize up. Mm -hmm. okay. Eso es lo que uh, ver? Sí, seis. So, tighten up, switch off, clean up, seize up, uh, turn off, call up. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions? <laughs> okay. The replacement is, is or teacher. The oil in the air filter is a replace replace or Sorry, what's the question? Can you repeat that again? 
the uh, oil in the air filter is a replacement or what? Replacement. You can replace the oil and you can replace the filter, yes. It is possible. Is that your question? No, 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 pero la pregunta es si es que no recuerdo exactamente cómo se le llama a los a los repuestos para las máquinas. Oh, spare parts? Yeah, spare parts. Spare parts, uh -huh. Spare Okay, so you only have about two more minutes left, guys, so finish off. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Andres is the spare. Ah, feels content. The energy. Hello, any questions? Feels power. Ah, eh, ahorita es que Juan se estaba conectando con el teléfono porque ahí tiene la imagen y solo está conectado en la computadora. Uh -huh. eh, es que estamos buscando ahorita la palabra falso contacto cuando las, los cables o los puertos USB hacen. Entonces no sabemos si usar la palabra solo. Fails contact. Teacher. Fails power contact o solo fails contact. Sometimes in laptops you, you need to clean up eh, removing da, dust and also papers o motita que queda. Mota, no sé cómo decir. Para evitar el falso contacto, eso queremos decir. Entonces, to avoid a fails power contact sería o fails contact. False contact. False contact. Ah, okay. False contact. Okay, the USB ports to have, ah, pues, dejémoslo, false contact. Eso está. Vaya, decirle que te una ahorita que te meta a este grupo con el teléfono, que andaba rebotando en otro grupo <laughs> con la imagen del teléfono. Sí. No, pero ya lo sí. mandé. Lo mandé a este grupo. No, pero, no me envió a otro. Sí, pero <laughs> por eso no sí sé. salió. Pero después no, le mandé. Me sacaron, no sé quién me sacó. Yo lo Y sé. después me envió. Yo y después sacó. me envió con. Es que yo. En otro ah, grupo. Es que yo lo puse en un grupo equivocado, entonces después lo, lo saqué de ahí para mandarlo al correcto. No, me envió a otro. A otro. Este ah, es el uno. Con otra chica. Ah. Nosotros nos quedamos aquí solo con el. I'm sorry. Ok. I'm sorry. <risa> bueno, entonces ya terminamos prácticamente. Ya el tiempo. Bye. Entonces, sí. uh, almost a kind of <laughs> we can invent. <laughs> uh, okay, entonces ahí Werner, yes I did. I also cleaned up the USB ports to avoid a false, a false, mm -hmm. false en la pronunciación, false. Ah, sí, false uh, contact, false contact. Así es, sí, teacher. False contact. Uh, yes. You could also say. Um, you turn it into the laptop. Faulty connection. Ah, it's better. Ah, faulty connection. Faulty, faulty. It's better. Let's use that one. Faulty connection. Faulty connection. Okay. Awesome. Vaya, y la última frase was Werner del A, ah, del supervisor. Um, Did you? I don't. Did you check up the. No, era. Did you check? Did you check? No, la palabra que dijimos que íbamos a usar. El. Did you tighten up the, the cable? Sí. Es el que habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Bueno, hagamos esta última pregunta. Did you tighten up?
Okay, guys. Um, I have a question. A todos les llegó el mensaje que les mandé. ¿Cuál? Tenía un minuto. Sí, sí. No, 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 Uh, so, um, sorry, the breakout rooms, um, I will send you messages, you know, to remind you that you have this amount of time. So just keep, just um, make sure that you um, always are paying attention to those messages. Okay, so we're going to start um, presenting. How about if we start with group number one, which is Ana Claudia and Warner. Uh, teacher, okay. Can we pass us number three because we haven't completed yet just one phrase. We are working on this right now. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go with uh, group number two then. Um, Andre Giovanni and Josue. Mm -hmm. Hola. Bye. So, uh, I will be the supervisor and Josue will be the system operator. Hello, Jose. Hey. How are you doing? I am tip of shape. Thank you. And you? Excellent. Well, I'm checking the, the schedule. My maintenance shall be doing this Saturday. Okay, thank you for reminding me. In this maintenance, we need to replace the oil and the air filter. Sure, the start parts will be available soon, as soon as possible. Don't forget to turn up the machine and pick, clean up the electrical room. Okay, thank you for your help. Very good, excellent. Okay. okay, that's it. Very good. Okay, let's go with group number three then. That would be Fabiola and Juan Francisco. Okay. Um, Hello, Fabiola. Can you help me to check this machine, please? Good morning, Engineer Francisco. Sure. What is the problem with the machine? Uh, the machine doesn't start to, to run, and it makes a strange noise. I think should be checked regularly. If you don't replicate this type of machine regularly, they will this off. Okay, that's correct. Let's do it. Okay, good. An applause, very good. No bad. Okay. Okay, Ana Claudia, are you ready mm -hmm. now? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay. yeah. <laughs> Let's try with where it's because he was like getting in and out multiple times <laughs> during the exercise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, uh, Werner, are you there? Okay, yes. Let's go. Ready. Yes. Hi, John. Uh, with this Daniel working on different computers today. Hi, Steve. Uh, well, his computer is not turning off. Yesterday, I cleaned up the fan. Did you turn TV off? 
before removing the uh, batteries? Yes, I did. I also cleaned up the USB ports to avoid a faulty connection. Did you tear up the power cord? No, I didn't. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> That's all, teacher. That's it, teacher. <laughs> all right, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Um, let's go now to group number four, which is Edgar and Carla. Okay. Okay. Hello, Edgar. I need your help. Can you check the fryer? Could I turn off the fryer to clean? Sure. Here, let me check the client and some pieces of the equipment. Thanks. How often I need to call up the maintenance department to check the equipment? Yeah, I think that's twice a month to size up and any problem. Thank you, Evan. That's all. I see you later. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent, guys. Okay, good. All right, let's move on to group number five. No, yes, group number five. Francisco Javier and Yvonne. Okay. Hello, Suleiman. I'm calling you because the printer is having problem again. Hello, Francisco. What's the matter with the printer? Paper is stuck, and this is a third time in the week. Okay, Francisco, I think it's a big problem. I'm going to your company right now to solve the problem. I'm going to call the technician too. What can I do at the moment? Just turn off the printer, please. Yeah, but the printer is sized it up. My apologies, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. That's all. Okay, very good. Bravo, guys. Excellent. Okay, um, just remember it's my apologies. Okay, apologies. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, let's move on to group number six, Melissa and Marvin. Okay. Okay, teacher. Marvin, do you know what happened with the problem with the unit RF? Yes, Melissa. I checked in and I found one leak and tightened up the house terminal. Did you call up the machine operator to verify that it was working perfectly? Sure. I called up. I called up him. He turned up the machine and everything was okay. That's great. We can continue scanning. Uh, by the way, I clean up the area. You're amazing. Thanks. This is all teacher. Okay, good. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. Should I have a question with uh, something you mentioned before the group start talking? You say the correct way it, to say is my apologies. My apologies. So we don't say, I apologize. No, you could say that. It just, uh, uh, the correct pronunciation is apologies. Uh, apologies. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have next group is Manuel Alejandro and Wendy. Okay. You are ready, Manuel? Yes, Wendy, I'm ready. Okay. Hello, good morning, Manuel. I have a problem with my computer. Good morning, Wendy. Really? What happened? My computer is stuck and I can't send my report. Ah, okay. Uh, you try the tool it of, of a 10 tool it on the computer? Yes, I try, but I don't work. Um, okay. 
you switch off the computer? No, I don't try. Ah, okay. You try and, and if it doesn't work, call me again. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Good, bravo, very good, excellent. Okay, Wendy, I have a question for you. Uh, when he said, when Manuel Alejandro asked you, did you try this, what did you answer? Yes, I tried, but, but I don't work, work, no, no funcionó. I don't work or it didn't work? It, yeah, it didn't work, <laughs> okay. okay. Good, all right, very Thanks, good. Teacher. Yeah, no problem. Okay, all right, and the next group is, let's see, um, uh, Janet and Haiti. Okay. 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 Janet, okay. Go ahead, Janet. Okay. Haiti, can you turn, hello, Haiti, can you turn on multifunctional printer, please? Sure, I just finished cleaning it up because of the monthly maintenance. Did you change the turner? No, I didn't, it still works. If it presents false, you can call me up. Thanks, Laura. I'm done with the maintenance. I'm just cleaning up. Have a nice day. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, how do you say mantenimiento in English, guys? Maintenance. 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 Very good. That's right. And um, when you want to say like a falso contacto, how would you say that? To say, we can say faulty connection. <laughs> faulty connection. Yeah, we can say faulty connection. Okay, good. All right. Um, all right. In the last group, I believe the last group is. Um, uh, it, I, uh, Irene, Luis, and Noemi. Teacher, we have a little problem. Okay, what's your little problem? Irene comes late, and we uh, we was uh, end the conversation. We don't have enough time to change it for three people. Okay, do it however you were able to to complete it. Okay. okay. So whatever you did, just present it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Naomi? Yes. Uh, Let's go. Good Thank you. Good afternoon, Luis. Can you check the code machine, code machine, please? Good afternoon, Naomi. Yes, tell me, what do you need with the machine? The machine is doing strange noise. And uh, seems that you need to tighten up uh, the pulley. Okay, let me check. Please switch off the power. Okay, there was an issue. The pulley needed lubrication. I put oil. Now the machine is ready. Great. Uh, can I call up you? Can I call up you if appears noise again? Sure. If the noise appears again, turn off the engine and call me. Thank, thanks a lot, please. Okay, Naomi. Bye. Okay, bravo, guys. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, how do you say motor in English? Engine. 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 The stress is on the first syllable. So it's engine, not engine, engine. but en engine. Engine. And okay. okay. And uh what what could you repeat what was the problem? What what did you say? The, huh? uh, the what the needed lubrication. Can you could she repeat that though? The pulley. Need lubrication. Okay, but, 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 but what do you need? 
Fully near oil. I found a few donation centers near wait, you. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, the pulley. Uh -huh, the pulley. Pulley. The pulley. Mm -hmm. The pulley. The pulley. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Uh huh. Okay. Now I was I wasn't sure if you were you were saying you were trying to say pool, but that's fine. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. All right, guys. Excellent. Okay, you guys got it. All right. So what we're gonna do at this point is I'm going to uh, check again attendance. Make sure everybody's here. Um, okay. So once again, we start with uh, Ana Claudia. Listen, teacher. Here, teacher, okay. present. Great. Andres Giovanni? Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Edgar? Present, teacher. Great. Uh, Elsie Janet? Present, teacher. Excellent. Fabiola? Present, teacher. Excellent. Francisco Javier? Present, teacher. Excellent. Um, and um, Heidi? Present teacher. Excellent. Irene? Present. Okay, great. Respect. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla? Present teacher. Okay, great. Melissa? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Manuel. Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Está. Oh. Hello, Manuel de Jesus. Ay, lo acabo de ver. Yes. Manuel, no sé si. Ajá, uh -huh. I think he, creo que tiene problemas de conexión quizás. He's, he's frozen up. Okay. All right, um, let's continue. Um, Wendy. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Marvin. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, Werner. Present teacher. Okay, Noemi. Present. Excellent. Yvonne. Present. All right, Daniel. Daniel. Okay, Jorge. Jorge. Marlene. Marlene. Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, great. All right, you guys, we guys, ha we have full house. Yay. Okay, excellent. Very good, guys. Okay, we're going to continue um, with the next part of our class. Okay, so we have a reading here. This, so in this, this is reading has to do with all the information that we've seen so far. Okay, so let's look at, let's take a look at the reading. Uh, we have three steps. Okay. Three steps um, in the process there. Um, hold on, give me just one second, guys. Okay, so we have um, three steps in this moment for um, how to organize a preventative maintenance plan, okay? How to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Okay, so I'm going to ask three volunteers to help me with this, the reading, okay? So volunteers? I can read okay. one. Okay, great. So Ana Claudia, you can read number one. What about number two? Who wants to me read teacher. number two? Okay, Marvin, you can read number two. Uh, 
Step number three, who wants to read step number can three? Can I? Sure, Ricardo, you can do number three. But what we're gonna do is we're going to read each step and we're gonna stop after each step, okay? So we're gonna start with Ana Claudia. We're gonna read okay. what you wrote, Ana Claudia, and then, uh, so, and then we're gonna analyze it and then we'll go on to the next one, okay? Okay. Okay. So okay. Okay, step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventing maintenance plans, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include the top management, maintenance manage managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production, production and production control. <laughs> it's a palabra. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. It is important to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Very good. Thank you very much, Ana Claudia. And you remembered, right? It's production. Production. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. All right, so questions about the vocabulary. No, no, sorry. Pronunciation. Let's start with pronunciation first. Questions about pronunciation in this step. No? Magnagement. Grass. Grassman. Uh, okay. Sorry, what was the first one? What did you say? Management. Ah, uh, manage. Oh, yes. Manage. Yeah, management. And get up. Is that the correct way to say it? Get up. This is management. Um, on the second part, it says, but it's important to have them on board and get up today. Is that the correct way? Or get up? I know. Um, almost at the oh. end, after on board. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Get up. Keep, sorry, kept ah, up. Kept up. Ah, okay. So the B has to sound. Kept. Yes, kept up to date. Kept up, okay. okay. Kept up to date, yes, okay. And that you had a question too. Uh, yeah, teacher. Uh, craft, craftsman. Craft, craftsman. 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 Pronunciation craft. is craftsman. Craft. Craft. Craftsman. Craft. Craftsman. Craftsman. Okay. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Anything else you want to ask about any other vocabulary? Sorry, sorry, pronunciation words that you want to ask about? Okay. Sorry? Pit up. 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 Uh, yes, Anything else? I have a doubt when the second part started, it says you may not need input. Input, uh, that way input means, uh, I'm not clear what the meaning of input okay. here. Okay, uh, I'll go over the vocabulary in the moment. Just want to ah, make okay. sure if there's any problem. Right now it's, it's pronunciation. It's pronunciation, okay. yes. I just want to make sure the pronunciation is okay.
Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let, let, then go ahead, Anna Claudia. What was what was the word that you wanted to ask about? Input. The input. usage here of input in you may when the second part starts, you may not need. Uh -huh. You may not need input from from each of their of these people. Input is. Um, like uh, the information that somebody gives you, that's an input. Um, so um, like their own opinions. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Como retroalimentación? Kind of, yeah. Well, that's actually feedback. That's retroalimentación is como feedback. Mm -hmm. But it, it's very similar. It's very similar. The input is more like your opinions, like what, um, kind of like, okay, this is, this is what's happening. Um, you know, this is what I think, you know, things that this is like a report, you know, that's, that's, um, that's input and feedback is more about, um, it, like when something happens, your, um, conclusions about what happened, that's feedback. Okay. Okay. Any other vocabulary words that you want to ask yeah. about? Sure. Yeah. The whole sentence to have them on board. To have them on board. <laughs> oh man, I can't find it. It's in the second paragraph. Second line. Oh, the right okay. people on board. Okay, so you want the right people or on board? Uh, to have them on board. On board. Uh -huh. Okay. the The expression on board means uh, that they agree. Okay. If like if you say for example, are you on board? It means like, do you agree? Are you with us? Do you do you support us? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, yes. It's used to, for, for example, in a ship, when the people is on board, is the same. Uh, yes. Okay. So we can we can have two meanings. Like one is literal, and the other one is figurative. Right. So literally, yes, you can be on board. For example, on a ship or on a plane, you can board a plane. I'm on board. Um, it means like, uh, like, it means that you are on the, like, in the, in the vehicle, right? So the moving vehicle, like the ship or the, uh, or the, the plane. But in this context, it's more figuratively speaking. To be on board means that you, um, you are, you agree with the group and you are going to support the uh, the decision or the plan. Okay. It can also mean um, like uh, that you accept um, a, like a job offer. They can like if you if you they offer you a job, they can ask you, okay, are you on board? It means like did you accept the job offer, right? Or um, or the promotion too, right? Maybe you got promoted at work. So are you on board with us? You say, yes, I am. Oh, yay, right? So that means that, that you decided that you're going to be part of the team. Okay. okay. Anything else? Craftsman. Craftsman, okay. Craftsman. Um, it, these are like people that um, that are the ones in charge of doing something manually. Okay, um, so these are are the like for example in a in a a what's it called in a factory, the craftsmen are the people that are doing the job. Like they're they're actually with their hands doing the product. Right, that's the craftsman. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Anything else? Get up. Which one? Get up. 
get up. Kep. Keep. Keep. P -T. Oh, this is the past, right? Or right. Keep. It, it, it's actually in this in this context. It's um, this is actually more not a phrasal verb, but it's more actually used as an adjective. Kept up today means like updated, actualizado. Mm. Okay, that's kind of what it means. Anything else? Any other vocabulary? Okay, let's move on then. Uh, let's go on to uh, group, uh, sorry, step number two. ¿Quién era el encargado de leerlo? Me teacher. Okay, go for it, Marvin. Okay, step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task forces input, set goals you have to uh, achieve using the system begin training your task force on the computer skill they need we they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect okay thank you very much Okay. All right, Grace. Um, so thank you very much. Any questions about the vocabulary? Sorry, the pronunciation. Let's start with the pronunciation first. Achieve. Achieve. Um, let me see. Achieve, yes, okay. So the, yes, the pronunciation is achieve. 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 Okay. 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 Anything else? Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Day. Just down. Achieve. Oh. The contraction oh, for okay. we yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very good. Yeah, this means the contraction of they will, and the way you pronounce it is they'll. 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 Mm -hmm. they they'll. they'll. Anything else? No? Okay, let's talk about the vocabulary. Then any words that you don't understand what they mean? We share the task forces input. What word do you not understand? Uh, I understand task is like a tarea. Uh -huh. uh, in the context, I, I don't understand. Okay, understand. yeah, it, this is actually together. This is the task force. Task force is the, the workers. Basically, it's the workers that do the job. Okay, los, los, los. It's, Como en español, tu fuerza de trabajo. Uh-huh. Exacto, tu fuerza de trabajo. So it's like the group of people that work. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else? Achieve. Achieve. Achieve means to, um, to reach a goal, to be able to reach a goal, right? that you are able to obtain, goals that you're able to obtain. Conseguir una meta, entonces. Ajá, o alcanzar. Okay. Anything else?
I have a question. I don't know if later we are going to take a look on this, but when the usage of into, into means deeply in this case or what? Because Plans it could be the same, uh, the pre preventing maintenance plan goes in full effect. What is the difference when we use into full effect? The, into. The, the, the preposition into uh -huh. means that you're, there is a movement from one place to another place. Ah, uh, that is the difference. Yeah. Okay. So in, it just put something, in mm -hmm. just that it's a position. Uh -huh. Whereas into means that there is a movement. Okay. okay. I understand now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. Let's read the last one. I think it was Ricardo. You're going to read us step number three. Okay. Step three, inventory and the equipment and that. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including the preventive maintenance plan. Take in the equipment as you go. Create a list of the all, create a list of all assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the existence of a good pre preventing maintenance software program. All right, very good. Anything else? Any questions about pronunciation? Mm, true? True, no sé. Tegan. Where? The first yes, sir. word go to. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, got it, got it. Thank you. Okay, that yeah, that word is through. You pronounce it through. 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 Go Dagen. through. Dagging, 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 dagging. Take it easy. Anything else? <laughs> Any other vocabulary? Uh, I for, said for pronunciation. Maya Francisco. <laughs> Ta 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 taking, taking, tagging, 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 uh, tagging, yeah. tagging, tagging. Okay. Yes. Anything else? Pronunciation. Organize. Organized? Yes. Organized. Organized. Mm -hmm. Organized. Okay. Teacher, and the pronunciation of it, it's the correct one is record or record? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. All right. Uh, the I'm going to answer the according to this talk, uh, according to this paragraph, um, it's record. Okay, according to the paragraph. However, um, it all depends on the context. Okay, so I'm going to actually write this down so you guys um, can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so there are two words. Um, there are two words in English that are... I guess the letters are in black, in white. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> there you go. Ah, okay. Yeah, hold on. Let me just... Okay, and let me that okay so um all right so basically um 
we can have two words. Uh, one can be a verb and the other one can be a noun, okay? Now, depending on if it's a verb or a noun, um, you're gonna pronounce it differently, okay? So, uh, one is, uh, one means like uh, record like grabar, and the other one is record as in like um, un, el registro o un album, also a record, it could also be un album, okay? So it's going to depend. So if, if in, in case, if we're talking about the, the verb, okay, if it's the verb, then we're going to put the, the, the stress on the, um, on the second syllable. So it's record. Okay, it's on the second syllable. All right, let me, let me make a little bit thicker. So record, it's on the, se on the second syllable. So you don't say record, it's record. And if it's the noun, then we're gonna say record. The stress is on the first syllable, okay? In this case, this was the, it's the verb, not the, the noun. So the stress, so it should be on the second syllable. So it should say record, record the following details as we go. Okay, sounds okay. good to everybody? Yeah, questions? Teacher is considering, Steven? Sorry, what's the word? The, uh, uh, considering the first line. Oh, yes. Yes, considering. Consider. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other vocabulary words that you don't understand? Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about vocabulary. Any words that you don't understand from here? Assets. Assets. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we talked about assets before. Anybody remember? Huh? Equipment? Mm, not necessarily. It can be, but not necessarily. What are assets? Activos. Activos. Los activos. Like the, los activos de una compañía. Okay. What else? Answers. Is much. Is much. Answers. Anything else? Any other vocabulary words that you don't understand? Acer or Abajo the record record record. Easier. Easier. Easier means more easy. You understand the word easy, right? Yeah. You understand the word easy, right? Yes, no? Easy, the, the, yeah. the, the fácil, right? So easier means more. Okay. So more easy. Anything else? Okay. All right, guys. So in that case, after having read this, what I want you to do is look at these ex the sentences here. Okay, so I have I have a few sentences. First one says, having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. I want you to decide if it's true or false. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. True or false. Setting goals is an option for the PMP. 
For better results, creating a list of the assets is important. And finally, according to the article to carry out the PMP, uh, a software is mandatory. By the way, by the way, what is PMP? What is preventive PMP? maintenance plan? Exactly, preventive maintenance plan. Okay, very very good. Okay, so go ahead decide if it's true or false. Teacher, what is the meaning of carry out? What is the meaning of what? Carry carry out. Carry out. Uh, ah. Okay. Um, carry out. Here, this one. Yes. Carry out means um, it, um, to to do, right? To do is basically right. So, um, so it says keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out or to do and organize with the assistance of good preventative maintenance software program. In other words, carry out. We can say in Spanish like, like what. Any, any, anybody have an idea how you'd say that in Spanish? Carry out in this context. Llevar. Llevar a cabo. In this context, it means llevar a cabo. All right, how are you guys doing? Any any problems, any questions so far? You ready? Listos? Yes, no, maybe. Das? You ready or not yet? Yes, teacher. You ready? Yes, we are. Okay, all right. Okay, so the first one, let's see, who can help me with the first one? We'll have uh, Yvonne. Yvonne, are you there? Maybe not. Okay, Melissa, help me out with the first one. Having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. This is? False. Yes, very good. False. False. Okay. Very good. 
All right, number two, Luis. Help me out with number two, Luis. True. Okay, you want to read the whole thing for me? Yes, it is important to include people who understand of finance. Okay, very good. You're right. This is true. Very good. Okay, number three, let's have um, Francisco Javier. It is true. Can you read the whole thing for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, can you unmute yourself? Because I, I couldn't hear you. Setting goals is an option for the PMP. Um, okay. There is true. This is true. Yes. Very good. Okay. Good. All right. Let's have um, number four. Let's have uh, Carla. Help us with number four, Carla. I think is. Can you read the whole thing? Okay. For better results, creating a list of the assets is important. Okay. And you think this is? Mm, true. True. And mm -hmm. I got to agree with you. Yes, it is true. Very good. And finally, we'll have Manuel Alejandro help us with number five. Can, if you can read the whole thing too. According to the article to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory, it's false. Okay, and you're right, it's false. All right, very good, guys. Bravo, there you go. Okay, very good. Okay, any questions so far? Anything you wanna ask about? What did you? Okay, so, all right, so now that we have done the reading, let's practice, let's review, let's say the vocabulary that we have learned so far, okay? In this, in this course, sorry, in this unit. So let's look at the phrasal verbs that we've learned so far. So far, we've seen the phrasal verbs wiped out. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is a book, sorry. This is a new vocabulary, sorry. Wiped out. Uh, to have a lot on one's plate, to settle down, hang in there, to keep one's head above water, to scale back on one's hours, stress out, and slip one's mind. Okay, so I need um, I need a volunteer to help me read wipe out. Fabiola, could you help me actually with wipe out? I know I said volunteer, but. I know Fabiola, you you want you were dying to volunteer, so <laughs> go for it, Fabiola. Why why doubt? Yes. Very exciting. Okay. Is that pretty clear for everybody? When you when you're really, really tired at the end of each day, you say, Oh, I'm so wiped out. It means I'm so tired. Okay. All right. Um Andres, Giovanni, can you read the second one for me, this one? To have a lot on one's plate, to have a lot to do. Good, to have a, a lot on one's plate. It means a lot, have a lot to do, right? So you can say that, oh, I have a lot, I have a lot on, on my plate. On my, when you say one's plate, it means el de uno, right? So it could be my plate, your plate, his plate, their plate, okay? So it's possessive all the time. 
all right? So to have a lot on one's plate means to have a lot of things to do, okay? All right, um, Yvonne, help me with number three. Okay. Uh, to settle down, to calm down. Yeah, very good. Okay, so for example, we can say, I need to make the baby settle down. The baby is crying. I need to make the baby settle down. That means I need to calm down, calm her down or calm it down. Okay. All right, next one, number four, um, Manuel de Jesus, can you help me with that one? Manuel de Jesus. Uh, can you open the microphone, Manuel? Ah, thanks. Hang okay. is there. Be patient. Be patient. Mm. Be patient. patient. Very good, yeah. Hang in there means be patient. It means like it's when something is bad, like things are going really badly and you just have to be patient until everything passes. So you can say, yes, I know. I know uh, right now um, you, you, know, you have a lot of work to do, but just hang in there. It means just be patient. You know, it's going to pass. Everything will be, will finish, okay? Um, Okay, so hang in there just means like basically like continue waiting. Okay. All right, uh, Josue, can you help me with number this one over here, number five? Give one's head above water to survive. Yeah. Good, okay. So it means, so when, you know, you have a lot of things to do, you're having a lot of problems and everything, and you're just trying to survive, you say, well, I'm keeping my head above water, right? So the one, the ones can be again, possessive. So it's my, your, his, hers, it's there. Okay, so it's anything that's possessive. Okay. Next, um, let's see, how can I have Warner help me the next one? To scale back one's hours, to reduce the number of hours one work. Good, okay. Work. Good, to scale back one's hours. So it means like that the amount of hours has been reduced kind of like what happened during the pandemic, right? Many people um, have reduced the amount of hours that they work because there is not a lot of work, right? So it's been reduced, right? In, in a sentence with that example could be, could you give us an example, like a kind of sentence? Yeah, uh, during the pandemic, Many people had had to scale back their hours. Ah, okay, okay. Right? There's their hours, yeah. So it's possessive of their hours. Okay. okay. Okay, Wendy, can you help me with the next one? Okay, the stress it out. Mm -hmm. uh, under Severe? Severe. Severe, strained, very anxious. Yes, anxious. Anxious. Yes, very anxious. Is this ansiedad? Ansiedad, uh huh, exactly. Ansioso, okay. actually. This is ansioso. Okay. Anxious. Anxious. Okay, yeah, this is actually a little more common. I think this is a word that you probably have heard quite often. Stressed out. I'm very stressed out means I'm very like anxious. I, you know, have, oh, like feeling like this, you know, kind of like that. So that's stressed out. Okay. And finally, I'll have, let's see, Ricardo. Uh, 
Ricardo, can you help me with the last one? Uh, I can't hear you, Ricardo. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear him. Um, no, nope. still can't hear you. One mind. Okay, Before now we can hear you. Yes, now we can hear you. Okay. Is it one mind? Be forgotten. Very good. Okay. So slip one's mind. Again, the one is possessive. It could be my, his, yours, the hers, our, okay, et cetera, et cetera. And it means to forget, right? For example, did you did you buy the present? Oh no, it slipped my mind. It slipped my mind. It means I forgot to do it. Okay. Teacher, this one remind me one I heard. Uh, it's a common one. Uh, is a make your mind or make your mind up. I don't know oh, if it's maybe. used with up or yes. Ask. Yes, make make your mind up. Mm -hmm. But that that means to make a decision. Can be used in any context or. No, it means to make your uh, make a decision. Uh, okay, and it's with up at the end. Yes, but it's oh, a different okay. one. It's a different one. Okay. Okay, uh, so now that we've seen this vocabulary, we're going to choose three items or sorry, idioms from the box above. Write a sentence per each. Okay, so you have to choose three. So you can choose wipe out. To have, um, to have a lot of one's mind and to settle down. Or you can choose, for example, sip one's mind, keep one's head above water, hang in there, example. Okay, and you're gonna write a sentence for each one. Example, like this one. I know this is tough, but just hang in there. But just hang in there means, but just be patient, right? Okay, that's an example. Please don't copy that one. Okay, yeah, I want you to make your own examples, okay? And go to the breakout room, work in small groups, share your sentences with your group, okay? So right now I'm gonna give you a few minutes, um, probably, uh, you know, about four minutes, four, five minutes to, to go into groups, sorry, into, sure, sorry to break the, question, the sentences, and then we're gonna go into groups and share. Yes, sure. yes. Yes. Uh, no logro comprender la, la, las frases realmente. Okay, what word, what, which one do you not understand? Okay, um, digamos eh, la primera parte de la frase antes de los dos puntos. Eh, es como el complemento de la otra o, o como es? This is the meaning. Here is, here is the phrase and this is the, the meaning. The, the, let, let's say the, the definition. So wiped me, wiped out means very tired. That is the definition. Okay. Okay. And then to have a lot on one's plate is it, what it means. The definition is to have a lot to do. Okay. So just three, just, just, just three, not all of them. Okay. So from the eight, you're just going to choose three. If you want, choose the one that is easier for you. You don't have to choose the one that is most difficult.
How are you guys doing? You almost ready? Do you need We're more time? Ready. You ready? I need more time. You need more time. No. Okay, okay. Two, more, two more minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay. You can ask me questions in the meantime, like, well, Puede ser. Yes, Francisco. In this moment, I'm very excited. I need to settle down. Okay. Yeah, that works. It cannot be patient, but I need to hide in there. Yeah, that works too. Okay. See, you uh, don't have to make it complicated, right? Like I said, if I was like, take the one that is easier for you. You don't have to be so complicated. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? While you guys are finishing this, I'm going to take attendance. Okay, so you guys continue working on the exercise on the sentence, and I will take attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Present, Present teacher. Fabiola? Present teacher. Uh, Francisco, Javier, uh, Heidi, present teacher, uh, Irene, present teacher, Josue, Josue, present teacher, Juan Francisco, present teacher, Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I... Present. Great, excellent. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Wendy. 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 Okay, I guess Wendy is not here or she's having problems, engineer problems. Werner. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Noemi? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Daniel? Daniel? Jorge? Marlene? Ricardo? Present teacher. Good, thank you. All right, guys, uh, you guys finished? I see. 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to quickly get you guys to go into in. You're going to go in your, your group and you're just going to share your um, your um, sentences with the group. Okay. That's all you got to do. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to give you two, two, three minutes. Okay. To do that. All right. So let's open the groups. Oh, Sven. Sven, any problems? Uh, I can be patient, but I need honey there. There is only no. three sentences. Yes, yeah, three sentences only. Okay. And I think that 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 all we have to three sentences now. Yeah. Mm. You guys are finished. Yes, yeah. teacher. Good. Okay. All right. Um, any questions? Um, ¿Las sentencias o las frases se usan normalmente? Sorry? Um, ¿Las frases se usan normalmente? In English? Yeah. In English? Uh, okay, the sentence is uh, normally used. Yeah, he, many of those sentences are um, are very common. For example, hang in there is a very common phrase. Um, eh, um, slip my mind, right? That's a very common phrase as well. Uh, stressed out, super common. Um, settled down. Yeah. The, yeah, so they're, they're very common. Mm -hmm. they're, they're quite common. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, for example, in the phrase sleep one's mind, I have to use the subject. For example, I sleep my mind or only I sleep my mind. Slip my mind, like it or uh, normally you say it, it slipped my mind. Se me escapó. That's oh, okay. Se me escapó. Okay. Um, okay. In the in the phrase and in, in the part of the ones, it can be substituted by me, my, they. Exactly. Yeah. Whenever it says ones, it's possessed of my, your, his, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys in the main room. Hello, Wendy. Teacher, sorry, my my cell phone uh, is off because my bad battery is uh, se me apagó el teléfono. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, no worries, it's okay. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Okay. Uh, say me, Wendy, your pre oh, se apagó. <laughs> Okay, it's a go in the pasa, no worries. Okay, guys, um, so that is all for today's class. We have finished um, and we have reviewed unit three. So tomorrow we would be starting unit four, okay? Remember what I told you, 
make sure that you are always connected for the remainder of the of the week right so we don't miss any classes and we can get get minimum of 80 percent and uh acuérdense de preguntar en sus en recursos humanos verdad de que si realmente ya le están tramitando todos los documentos para que para que no los hagan a última hora verdad porque si no puede ser que se queden afuera and that's it um, solo me quedaría allí con eh, Manuel de Jesús si usted se puede quedar Manuel se puede quedar para tutoring Eh, me, me, lo, no, todavía no, no, no está abierto el micrófono. ¿Se puede? Lo, ¿Es posible quedarse? No, no, Miss. Ah, no, ok. Ay, no. Vale. ¿Hay alguien, uno, alguna otra persona que quisiera quedarse el día de hoy entonces para aprovechar? Ok, bueno, está bien, entonces. Eh, en este caso, bueno, solo para dejarles saber, um, para que lo tengan en mente, uh, el día de mañana le tocaría a... Hey, teacher. A usted, Marvin. Ah, ok, perfecto, ya sabe, entonces... Eh, You're so anxious. That's good. Okay. Why don't you make it today? If you want, you can do double session too, no hay problema. Ah, Yo, ah ok. No me, no me, no, yo no me enojo por hacer double session. Okay, guys, so that would be all for today. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Uh, don't forget to do the homework, okay? All right, take okay. care, guys. Okay, Bye. teacher. Bye, Bye Good teacher. Night, Good night. night. Thank you. Bye, Good teacher. Good Bye, night. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Teacher. Uh, Puedo preguntarle cómo voy con, con mi asistencia y con mi homework. Por supuesto. Please, teacher. Que sí. Por supuesto que sí. My assistant and the homework. Mm -hmm. Sí, deme un momentito. It is Monday, the body is now with teacher. Vale, eh, quiero ver. Vale, le digo ahorita. Le puedo decir, um, ay, pero un momentito que lo cerré. Le puedo dar la información de, quiero ver, un chimicito. Ok, entonces, Warner, hasta el momento, ¿verdad? Eh, sin, sin, eh, sin incluir esa clase, o sea, sin ir hasta, hasta el viernes, digamos, lo que lleva de asistencia es 69.71. Casi 70, digamos, por ciento. Ok, es mm -hmm. lo que lleva de asistencia, casi 70. Eh, y... Eh, en, usted quiere saber cómo, cómo vas de notas. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le cómo... no aparece? Um, no le parece. Es el, es el que dice que está en, pro, en progreso, teacher. Progress. Ajá, correcto. Es el que está en, el que dice um, progress. Ajá. Ah, uh, ok. Um, Pero si tiene alguna pregunta, le puedo, se lo puedo, lo, lo puedo buscar, ¿verdad? Sí. Si tiene alguna duda, puedo buscarla ahorita. Son notas. Oh, no, está bien, ya lo vi, teacher. Sí, 96, sí. Ok. Creo que de la unidad 3. Um, <coughs> Hay una pregunta que creo que no he contestado. Sí, mi, ajá, de la unidad 3, que va a <coughs> solo tiene 96%. Hay una que no le, bueno, no he encontrado cómo hacerla, pero igual. 
¿Alguna? Le tengo que sentar un momento y la, y la voy a investigar, Ticho, porque me gusta siempre. A veces okay. pregunto, pero voy a okay. ver todos los recursos. Vale, de, de acuerdo. Lo que usted quiera, si no hay bueno, problema. Thank you, eh, ¿Alguna otra cosa? No, solamente. Okay. Vale. Eh, una pregunta, bueno, antes que se me desconecte. Yes, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo hemos estado con lo que hablamos la vez pasada? Súper bien, Tillo. ¿Sí? Creo que fue óptimo lo que pasó y creo que ya me tocaron varias personas y se han comportado, creo que de diferente forma. O sea, veo un excelente progreso, la verdad. Ok, excelente. O sea, como grupo, yo creo que eso, por lo menos yo sí lo he sentido, era, okay. ha sido gratificante, la verdad, para mí, porque okay. no. Sí, me alegra. La verdad que caló mucho lo que usted dijo. No sé cómo lo dijo en inglés, pero yo creo que no sé si lo entendieron todo porque alcancé a escuchar cuando lo dijo en inglés varias veces. Y... Sí, ajá, es que quería asegurarme porque si no, si, si, si había todavía problema, pues iba a hacer otra cosa. Pero, no, no. Pero oh, si, has... um, si ya, pues... Eh, Creo sé que hemos mejorado, excelente. No, súper. Digamos, del 1, yo siempre les pregunto a mis alumnos, del 1 al 10, ¿cuánto se mejoró? Ok. Le diría, teacher, un 8, 9, o sea, me okay. Me excelente. Ok, me alegra mucho saber eso. Y si por X motivo llegase a, a ver otro detallito ahí que, en lo que podemos mejorar, pues déjeme saberlo y podemos ver qué, qué hacemos, ¿verdad? Ok, teacher, uh -huh. thank you. Ok. Ok, good, Warner. Yeah, um, see you tomorrow, well, teacher. See you tomorrow. Take care. Ok. Bye. Bye.